Are you looking to make something like this? You are watching a master at work. Shut up. Making football edits for YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok is incredibly easy and even better, it's 100% free. So in this video, I will show you how to easily edit and create epic clips and reels of the beautiful game, just like your favorite editors. If you don't know me yet, I am by Edits HD, and I plan to make short football edits, football editing tutorials, player confirmations, and tips for other football editors. So if any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have big plans for the future and see this channel growing big. So be sure to jump on the bandwagon early on. Before we start today's video, I would like to invite anyone who is editing for the first time to participate in an editing challenge. After watching this video, I would like you to go ahead and make your own edit. Then when you finish, DM or upload the video with tagging my account on TikTok or Instagram. My link to those socials will be in the description. More details will be on my Instagram page about this challenge. Once we've claimed all of our audio and clips, we were going to throw them into CapCut. To create a new project, click on the plus button and select your clips. Do not select your audio clip. You will see why later. Now CapCut has put all of our videos into the editing timeline. Now it's time to get editing. First thing we want to do is change the format of the video. We will do this by unselecting the clip to see the main editing bar. Then we will click format. You may notice we have many options. In this case, we are looking to use a 9x16 format. In order to get the video full screen, you will need to use two fingers and zoom in on the clip until you see no more black spaces. Now you might notice that a problem arises. You are missing a good chunk of our video. That's when the power of keyframing comes in. Keyframing is used when you want to move, rotate, or transform a clip at different moments. We will use keyframing to move the clip around to keep tabs of the moment. We first want to position the clip where the ball is first seen. Once we do that, you will see a diamond looking button. Click that. This will mark your first position or your key. When you run the clip, wait to the point where the ball goes off screen. When it does, stop the clip again and move the clip into a position where we can see the ball. In this case, I move the clip to the left. Now you just need to keep repeating this process until the ball gets to the point where you want it to be. If you are having trouble at first, do not worry. The more edits you make, keyframing becomes naturally easier and surprisingly a lot quicker. If you need help, just drop a comment and I'll be happy to help you. Alright, I'm finished keyframing this clip. Let's check the result of what we have done so far. Alright, the keyframing actually came out pretty good. Maybe the corner kick could be a bit better, but overall I think the keyframing was pretty well done in this case. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do that for all of the clips. I'll pause the recording and return once I finish. Once all your clips are keyed, it's time to add the heart of the whole edit, the music. Without the music, your edit is really nothing. Even with good editing and effects, without no music, you really don't have a good edit. To add our audio, you will need to click add audio, then click extracted. This is the part where I hope you listen and download the audio mp4 instead of the audio mp3. CapCut extracts the audio from MP4. It does not take MP3 format. Locate your music MP4 file and add it to the video. Now that we have our audio, it is time to sync our clips with the beat drops. This process can take a lot of trial and error. To make this process go quicker, Go to the point of your beat drop and split it at the audio. Then go to the point in your clip that you want to match the beat drop and split it at that point. Now edit previous or following clips until the split in the beat drop also lines up with the split in the clip. This can take some time, so be sure to try your best and remember do not give up.
We have our beat drop for the first clip. That one is always a tricky one. Getting the beat drop for the rest of the clips is actually pretty easy. I'm going to pause the recording and set the beat drops for the rest of my clips. I will see you when it's time to add the effects. Now here is the fun part, the effects. Before we add them, there's just one thing you'll need to add to your camera drive, a random white background. You'll see why you will need to add this very soon. What you want to do is add an overlay. To do this, you must click overlay in the main editing menu and then click add overlay. You will then select your white background. Drag the white background to the beginning of the clip with the beat drop. Cover the whole screen with the overlay, then on the editing bar, click splice, then click overlay. Now on the editing bar, click animation, then click the out animation, then click the first one, fade out. Now when we run it, it looks pretty familiar. This is the white flash most editors use on their beat drops. Now we can copy the same effect to all of the other beat drops. Ah, looking good. Now we will add shake animations at our beat drops. It will give it a cool shake effect. To do this, click on the clip with the beat drop. Then click animations. Click in, then click shake 1, shake 2, or shake 3. It's all up to you. If you decided to use multiple clips, then you might want to add some transitions. To do this, click the white square in between the two clips. Then go to camera and select the transition of your choice. I'm going to do this for all my clips. Awesome. Let's run through the video to see if it's good enough for exporting. You are watching a master at work. Shut up. Perfect. To export it, you will click the button in the upper right hand corner. The video will automatically save once it finishes. Now, we will bring it to the optional last step, which is using Prequel to add some extra effects. Now we are going to download the Prequel app. It is another free to download editing software, but some effects will need to be paid for through a subscription. Not to worry. 
all of the effects we need on prequel for this video and for future edits are perfectly accessible on the free version. To add your video, just click the plus button at the bottom of the page, then find your edit and select it. Now our video is loaded up, let's run through it to make sure it is the right one. Nice, it is the right one. Now we are going to click effects. The one I like to use the most is VHS. You can choose between one, two, or three. Normally I prefer to turn down the distortion so it does not look overdone. Too much effects can ruin the edit. Now you may notice that the beat drops are off by a second or two. Do not worry about this. When you export the final video, your beat drops will be perfectly fine just the way that you imported them. Once you are satisfied, click the next button in the upper right corner. This will start the exporting process. And just like that, you have completed your very own football edit. How easy was that?